like the last the last damn thing I want to deal with right now on top of the worst hunting season of my life. I'm so tired I can't even hardly pull my bow back anymore. I've shot probably 500 arrows in the last two days trying to make sure everything's on. Trying to sight my freaking bow on in 20 mile an hour winds today. <sighs> I'm so tired I don't even want to go hunting. We get out here, get set up. I'm literally drawing my bow back, twisting my peep sight, trying to make sure I know that it's going to be on if I have to shoot. And freaking Timmy says, big buck right here. There's a big buck. It's Carl Weathers. I'm not joking. Or no, it's uh, doing a fish buck. I'm not. Get your, get your camera right here. Bow hunting is my life. Filming is my passion. My bow is my weapon. Hunting giant deer is my purpose. Shed hunting is what moves me. Chasing spring gobblers sharpens our skills. Designing the gear that I use is my job. Making better bow hunting videos is my duty. These are my friends and my brothers. This is my world. This is Whitetails Inc. that for a shot, buddy. I love you, tuna fish. Next year, you're in big trouble. Can you see him okay? I wouldn't divorce you for the property, but I 
Jimmy Carter and he busted me moving up here didn't quite know what it was he ran off eventually boom came out the field he Timmy tells me he thinks it was Carl Weathers I'm about to have a nervous breakdown literally he starts sobbing because we had just ruined our opportunity I'm doing my uh, interview about how sad I, I feel for myself and the tuna fish book comes out and puts on a show for us within 10 minutes of us being in the tree he came over here he got a little grounds and I know he did because we were literally just on the ground because we were running light because my whole boat ordeal I mean it's been <sighs> I told Clara Sam works on my boat for me thank you Sam for helping me he gets bothered about 350 million times a day because he's got customers coming in it's that time of year everybody wants to talk to Sam including myself and uh, it took forever but that's just the way it is and uh, I told him I'm like you know what's going to happen today and he's like oh yeah for you because that's generally when it happens when you're running late everything's wrong so far we've already seen two big four-year-olds on their feet no more bs and it's time to watch keep your freaking eyes peeled i cannot believe what just happened i cannot cannot believe what just happened just had the opportunity i've been working for all season sippy cup at 25 yards unfortunately timmy was halfway up the tree I just got done setting the stand. It was right here. He must have. Didn't, didn't know what we were. Ran out in the bean field, stopped at 100 yards, turned around to look, and sure enough, it was him, and he is freaking huge. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was him. Timmy and I got out for saying like 9 o'clock tomorrow, so we get back, get the bow fixed. We did that. We tinkered with it. Not my specialty and not what I want to be doing on the 20, 20th of November. But I had to get it shooting right. So we got it shooting right, took a quick break for lunch, take a shower, get back out here. We left my house at noon. It took us an hour to get out here on the side of this tree. And at one o'clock in the afternoon, he comes cruising through. As soon as he leaves, we have another buck come right down. I'm just like, 10 minutes. We would add 10 more minutes. We could have, I would add a 20 yard shot at him right freaking here. So it's been about two and a half hours since our uh, encounter with a buck that I thought at first was Sippy Cup. I got to thinking about it, and me and Timmy were talking about it, and it wasn't Sippy Cup, it was way bigger than Sippy Cup. I'm talking like Boone and Crockett, frickin' had a bleach white rack, because I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, God, Sippy Cup has a dark chocolate rack. Wow, well, how do I know that? I just forgot. I've actually seen him during the season from my house in a food plot. And sure enough, he had a dark chocolate rack. I know he did. This book was bright white, and he was freaking big. He was like shredder mass. Um, main beams were like that. I think he was a niner. We don't know exactly, but he had a couple of the same characteristics that uh, Sippy Cup has. Tight rack that comes together in beams. But this one had a bigger frame. It was, it was big. Like, I just thought maybe, I don't know, I don't know my mind was playing tricks on me. We're back in the stand that we had uh, that freaking giant come up to us and we were climbing in yesterday. We've already had 
one little dink bug come in. This is a killer set, man. There's all kinds of fresh bug sign in here. Scrapes have opened up, big rubs that weren't here a week ago. And uh, it's a pretty perfect morning, really. It's, it's not too cold, but it's kind of misty and just kind of one of them damp rut mornings you look for. Plan on setting all day, or I'll say, or till midday. And then hike about uh, three quarters of a mile north through some picket fields to a different set. We'll just play it by ear and kind of see what happens. Hopefully, we don't have to. I would like to tag out this morning as much as I would like to be a millionaire, probably. Maybe more. I don't even know. Right now, I'm. I'm tired. I woke up this morning and the first thought in my mind was, oh, please tell me it's a bad dream. <laughs> Not again. Well, today started off pretty good. We got in stand nice and quiet. We uh, started to get a little drizzle. It's just perfect. Still drizzle a little bit. And then the pack of dogs showed up. We got a bunch of freaking wild dogs running around and they chased two deer across the creek. Two different waves of them came through, just like. I mean, are you kidding me? We had a gal dang Boone and Crockett standing 25 yards from us right here yesterday at one o'clock. And this morning we've got dogs running all over the woods chasing deer. I don't even know what to do right now. I'm so pissed off. Our morning hunt's pretty much blown out. They've been barking and chasing and going crazy all around us. I know I need to be out hunting as much as possible, but at this point, I'm so burnt out. I don't feel like hunting anymore. I was thinking about not going home for Thanksgiving, but I think I'd literally, I'd like kill myself. I think I need a break, but I'd really like to kill a buck. Like, oh my God. It's just the most oddball season ever. Like, you can't plan the crap that's happened to us. You just can't plan it. And that, my friends, is the dark side of on it. Kyle and I have been working our butts off to get the latest DVD, The Dark Side, finished. The stories and footage from this year's video is better than anything we have ever done before. Right now, we are offering an online special for a free can koozie with any advanced order of the new DVD, The Dark Side which will start shipping at the end of April. The new Dark Side DVD, other White Knuckle videos, White Knuckle gear, and White Tails Inc. gear is also available on the gear page of White Tails Inc. Thank you very much for your support. We'll keep making them if you keep buying them.